We come back to the Power Talk Show with me, Dominic. We, after that short break, we're back. Now we're going to be having questions from the audience uh, about the topic that we're having today, university life, sex, uh, power, money, and all that, the conversation that we'll be having with Ken Munio, a, a psychologist, clinical psychologist, organization psychologist, right, uh, and consultant. So now I'm going to go to the audience who are going to ask questions. Just say your name and the university you're from and ask your question. Oh, hi. Uh, hey. I'm Linnea Bala. Uh -huh. Uh, from Cooperative University of Ho Kenya. Hold up the mic a little bit. From Cooperative University of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, while you are talking, you talked of ladies from the university dating men from uh, corporate world, as in the outside world, mm -hmm. not boys within the university. Then boys within the university going for girls either down or up. Mm -hmm. So in your statement, I don't know whether I was the one who had a poor understanding or mm -hmm. it was just okay mm -hmm. do, you, do you mean that ladies from the university should date men from the university okay good question thank you a clap for a clap for for her thank you very much pass the mic we've got another second question go mm. my name is Ami Singota, cooperative university um my question is not I, okay it's a question yes i think I think it's becoming a cliche that every time we are being told that we should abstain, yet it is it is becoming clear that it is it is a kind of impossible for campus students to abstain. Mm -hmm. So why can't you guys just I mean sex education, how to be sexually, how to understand our sexual life, I mean how to be sexual active, how to prevent Yeah. Okay. So, uh -huh. so the main question, if if I if I get it, they are asking. Yeah. Instead of telling us that it's become a cliche from what they say, the chill and all that, abstain and be chaste. Tell us how to be sexually active and safe. Is that okay? Then the last question. Please go ahead. Um, Chelsea John Spoker from the Cooperative University of Kenya. My question is. Um, it's obvious in campuses we have lecturers who want ladies' body or vice versa f so that you can get marks. And our parents at home are expecting you to reach a certain level. And if you don't adhere to what the lecturer wants, you'll definitely fail. Any advice on that? Okay. When I can, you've got your questions. And before I, 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 I before you I give you a chance to, to, to respond as so ladies and gentlemen remember we are on DSTV channel 376 so you can watch uh, Y254 TV the power talk show you can watch another so many other programs that we have and uh, there is a post coming up on, on Facebook Y254 channel go there and comment and if you have questions opinions suggestions make them there and I'm going to be reading them out in a bit so Ken yes. go for the questions. First, can I say congratulations to the little beautiful girls who are here? Yes, please do. You are like <laughs> amazing, right? <coughs> but I wouldn't do that. I don't know whether I would allow not my daughter to do that. Not you would not. You can't. I cannot. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> I cannot. But it's amazing, right? It, it is right, very great, amazing. Great I, I have a friend of mine. I know he's watching. He's called uh, Anthony. Mm -hmm. He's from Nairobi and Sembo. He does this, and uh, it has taken it has taken him places. He's gone to many countries, some that I only see on the map hmm. because of this. So this is talent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Good, thank you, ladies, for your questions. Can I start with the heated one? Yes. Sexually active and protecting yourself. Uh, There's no one who said you must abstain. Yes. No one. Actually, I I tell people it is your body. <laughs> Do what you want to do it. However, choices have consequences. consequences. You can choose a sin, but you will never choose the consequence of that sin. Dhambi unaweza jichagulia. Maadhara ya dhambi, hawezi. So do it today. The Catholic in me cannot start telling you it is either you abstain or you use condoms. The Catholic in me will say, please abstain because it is best for you. There are people who come and teach you condom education. There are people who come and tell you what you need to do. Now there is a bad cliche that is there 
the one of avoiding pregnancy and not diseases. And so many of you are taking epils, like it is paracetamol or brufen, as if you're having cramps. So today you don't mind going to have raw sex, and I don't, I don't know whether you saw it, I updated in my Facebook, that because you have chemistry, you have raw sex. Tomorrow biology will stick in. You cannot put sentences like that. No. That you cannot have raw sex. Then you look at me and say, did you see it? Like it's, uh, I mean, I was like, I was there for a minute. I, 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 no, they are not friends on uh, ah, okay. Facebook. <laughs> I, I said, I don't know whether you saw it. Yeah? <laughs> that today you go and have sex, raw sex because you have chemistry. Wait until biology sets in. And that guy will use geography on you to run a marathon. Yeah? You use epils and unfortunately, and I have to say it, Unfortunately, some of us don't even know what are the repercussions of using e-pills. A normal person, and I want any gynecologist or any doctor watching us or will watch us to come and counter my remarks, a normal person cannot use more than one pill in two years. A normal person. Go and ask any medic who cares about you, they will tell you that is the truth. But today, you're being told to use pills here, there, every day. And that's why some of us are exponentially growing without your knowledge. You're increasing a lot of weight because these are progesterone-induced. And maybe your estrogen was the one that was high at that particular time. Your ladies, you must have this sexual education. education. So I will say this. We will teach you how to abstain. If you do not want to abstain, <laughs> know with your guy what you're doing, because there's a correlation between lack of abstinence and multiple sexual partners. So today you're with this guy, tomorrow we are, you are with that. And you know, I don't know who taught university students how to, to kupi mamtu, kama kona virusi ya mahana, kumuangalia kwa macho. So today, you go and have sex using protection. And kasababu mumezoyana, the next time, hakuna protection, diseases will start coming in. So I'll say this, my dear, Alice, you said, it's Alice. Amis. I'll say this, let yourself make the decision. Don't go where others are going. I've said this on your program and mm. I'll repeat it. Please don't follow the masses blindly. Sometimes the M is silent. You never know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Linnea, you said? Yes, Linnea. I, I am not in any way insinuating whom you should date. Because there are also corporate people who want to misuse university going students. And there are also some guys who are not there, they are not in corporate, maybe they are in university, but they don't have a focus of what they want in life. However, don't look at only one way of dating and say, I miss you as a date, Hawa, ni watoto. And na mwenye nasema ni watoto, utoto ndiyo mwingi, ndiyo maana nasema ni watoto. I will say this, expound your catchment areas. Go to university, look at how your peers are behaving. Go to the corporates, look at how people are, are behaving. If you are Muslim, go to the mosque. If you are Christian, go to the church. Look at how people are behaving. And then you will know where are you going to get your, your partner. Personally, I got in church. I cannot tell people, go and get in church. Because I got in church, but whoever I got was not in church. That is a story for another day. <laughs> By the way, yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah? But you need to be very sure of whom you're getting. There are some people in corporate worlds, they will misuse you and use you. And they say, our university, ata utamlipia karo, alafu akimaliza, achane na wewe. So they know what they are doing. There are also some in university, I know love that was blended in primary school. And it is still there to date. Love that was blended in high school and others in colleges and it's still there. But the question is, what are you looking for? And when you know what you're looking for, you will know whom to attract. Well, okay. Lecturers misbehaving ethically. The reason why we ought to have the office of a dean of students. <coughs> yes, Dominic. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, man. Dean of Students. <laughs> the reason why we ought to have the office of the Dean of Student is to discuss such issues. The problem is when the Dean doesn't act. I'll say this with a lot of humility and respect. There's a lecturer I refuse to attend their class. Not because of STDs, but everybody who went through that lecturer would come and say, you will never pass that unit if you're not from a specific church. 
I said I schooled at Park. It's a it's a Pentecostal uh, university for my undergraduate, mm -hmm. and and he would have a lot of problems with people from mainstream, Catholic, Orthodox, Presbyterian, Anglican. And somebody came and told me, Ken, if you go to this unit, you will not pass hermeneutics. I don't know uh, you, you might understand. Yeah, and understand. I said I'm not going to do hermeneutics using this lecturer. Because he's not the only lecturer who can start, who can teach hermeneutics. And I stayed for an entire two terms without having done hermeneutics. I would have even missed my graduation because of that. But I told myself, let me allow myself not to go through this and become frustrated. Please don't allow these useless men calling themselves lecturers to come and frustrate your life in, in university. They will use you, misuse you. And some of these people are carriers of HIV positivity. And worse. And worse. And they want to come and misuse you. They don't even give a damn whether you are the size or the age of their daughter. If such a thing happens, go to the university dean of student. If the university dean of student is not ready to listen to you, there is a university, nowadays it's called the Kenya University Placement, whatever. If such a thing does not happen, please shout to the loudest you can. You have, you have Dominic here. Yeah? Even if you don't, luckily, uh, luckily for people like me who travel, we have connections everywhere. I have a very senior senior official who works in your university, cooperative university. So if it is happening, tell me that. And I'll do something we call in psychology, shared confidentiality. I will say what is frustrating you without even disclosing who it is. Unfortunately, maybe it's because I have seen you on air. But I am thinking you have not asked this question because it's you who's been affected. You have spoken on behalf of millions, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. So if it is happening, please tell someone. Please tell even your parents. And the problem we are having with this generation is our parents don't know how to listen and our children don't know how to talk. Yeah. So we do not have that time of communication. But create time. Tell a big brother somewhere. Tell a big sister somewhere who can be able to assist you. You are not the only student who has gone through this mm, uh, lecturer. Mm, Does mm. it mean that everyone has slept with this lecturer? No, 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 no not, not necessarily. necessarily yes. So you can circumvent. You can know mm. how to come across and uh, do something awesome. and you'll be able to graduate. Give it up to Ken. That's uh, absolutely amazing. So there, there, there are some few things that, that came and I just want to, to make a quick comment on. Let, look, uh, just because pe people don't obey the statement, don't drink and drive, there are still accidents, uh, isn't it? But we, we have not reached a point where we tell people just drink a, a little and drive. It's still don't drink and drive. Okay, so I was just responding to that question. See, okay, at the same time, there are many different voices that you'll be told about contraceptives and all that, but we are also offering a different voice. A voice that says, why can't you uh, respect your body to a point where you, you know, there's a priest who used to tell uh, a, a, a newly, you know, the bride and bridegroom at, at, the, at the altar. If you have ever slept with her before this moment, I want you to know that you have slept with a woman who is unmarried. If you have ever slept with him, I want you to know that you are willing to sleep with a man who is not your husband. Now, that's a, that's a very tricky statement. Mm. Finally, when you watch Hollywood, sometimes Hollywood will make you feel like sex is a need. It's not a need. You might feel like you're going to die if you don't have sex, but you're not going to die. Have All you right? ever seen an ambulance uh, chasing somebody <laughs> and saying... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a I'm a I like I like the mazishi part. Uh, bikira na kwa sababu hakuwa nafanya sex baada ya muda wa kugua miezi mitatu aliaga kwa sababu ya maumivu makali ya ubikira. But but Dominic I'll have to I'll, I'll have I'll have to say something. Yes please. For the married. Uh -huh. For for the married. For the married. Uh -huh. Sex is a basic human need. Yes, it is for the married. Yes, for the, for the marriage. For the marriage. Yes, yes. Actually, the reason why they leave their uh -huh. father and their mother uh -huh. is not because of love. She cannot love me more than my brother loves me or my sister. Well, this is a conversation for another time. God bless you. <laughs> Please give it up to Ken Munyo, who people centric and a director and consulting a psychologist from there. Thank you so much, Ken, for making time Thank to come to much. our show. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the very end of our show today, The Power Talk Show. I'm so grateful to my guest, Ken Munyo. I'm very grateful to my audience. Make some noise to yourselves from Cooperative University. And I'm very grateful to my two artists today, Tabital and Harry, who's going to close the show for us. Thank you for watching and being part of this conversation. I'm going to see you next Wednesday with another exciting conversation. Hope you'll be watching.
Remember, we are on DSTV, we have lunch today. And uh, continue watching on Signet, on GoTV, and continue making the conversation live on our Facebook pages, uh, Instagram, and Twitter at Y254. We are out, and now I'm going to give it to Harry. Be mad, be exceptional, make a difference. Harry, let's go. Are you ready? The tema. Tetema ya ni kama umepigwa shoti Tetema ni pemigandi shewa robot Tetema kwenye giza mama shika toti Tetema tukutani ya ni kwenye koti Katoto kamenoga Kapandisha sapkoba Kapandisha boda boda Chini kamchumboga Ay mama shigidi na kufa hoi likwidi Ay mama shigidi konki na kufa hoi Aya tunde tetema Tipo tipo tetema Aya tuende tetema Tipo tipo tetema Aya tuende tetema Tipo tipo tetema Aya tuende tetema Tipo tipo tetema Tetema yani kama vile jenereta Tetema kama muzika kupinga ngeta Mwenda wakuki uka kusepeta Chini nkipuliza tarukweus Rose, nipe shogulet Wacha nikupige ngembe Maria Rose, Rose Tunguli mekos, tunda ni kupige ngembe You make my mind go so long Kolo, kolo, ukinuna tumie doro Doro, doro, wash Sani peza digi digi Miyuno ya gwiji gwiji Kwenye kipindo muziki ziki Ni kunyonge ka ziki ziki Tete, oh mama tetema Oh mama tetema, haya tunde tetema Tipo tipo tetema Aya tuende tetema Tipo tipo tetema Aya tuende tetema Tipo tipo tetema Aya tuende tetema Tipo tipo tetema Kore! Kichwa kime, kime, kime mpana Kime, kichwa kime, kime Siwani! Kichwa kime, kime Kime Kichwa kime, kime Kime, kichwa kime, kime Kime, kichwa kime, kime Kime, haya tuende tetema Tipo tipo tetema 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 Kichwa kime, kime